we so crazy? Why are we so dumb? But you know why? Because this right here. Christianity has given you an opinion. Christianity has given you something to say. Right. Christianity has told you that you can butt God. God told Steve, or Spencer Steve, what's his name? Steve. Steve. That you were supposed to wear what on the bottom of your car? You're supposed to wear hair down here. What you supposed to wear right here? Fringes. That's what you're supposed to wear. What you supposed to do about your beard? Don't shave it all off. And you can keep it a certain length that you want it, but don't go into your natural line. Right. What's so hard about that? You know why people don't want to do that? Because it makes them a target. Bring it up. Give me that Matthew when they say about uh go be enemies of your own household. You married? No. You got a girl? No. Okay, all right. You got family, right? Yeah. Okay. Got two kids. Okay, cool. So this is why a lot of people don't want to change because their family is gonna think you weird. Right. They're gonna think you in a cult. Right. You start coming around to cook out Thanksgiving with this on, show up at Thanksgiving with this on. You have any questions they're gonna ask you? First they're gonna ask you is you in Islam. Right. right. The next thing they're gonna ask you is you following Islam book. Bring it up. Don't you not understand that they said the same thing in Christ's time? And this is why Christ had to say these, say this to the disciples, read. Right? Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Bring it out. And think not that I am come to send peace on earth. But I thought Jesus Christ was about peace. Jesus Christ is about peace, right? Sis, ain't Jesus Christ about peace? Let's see what the, let's see what he said. Watch this real quick. What what comes down the letters that you read? Red. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. I came not to send peace. What, what? I, I thought I thought Jesus Christ was about peace. He said, I came not to send peace. I'm telling you, our people don't know God at all. They think they do, and it's cool that they got a they got a zealous spirit that they that they are shouting from at the mouth of Jesus, but they shouting and foaming for this Jesus. And this, and this Jesus right here is not coming. He's not coming. The black Messiah is coming to save black and Hispanic people. Right. That's right. What did Jesus Christ have to tell? I am. I came not to send peace, but a sword. I came not to send peace on earth. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Uh huh. I came not to send peace, but a sword. What kind of sword? But I am come to set a man at variance against his father. How could you be at variance with your father? What does variance mean? Variance mean at odds, right? So let's say you and your dad always had uh, a fishing trip. Y'all go to your favorite fishing hole every Saturday. God says you're supposed to rest on the Sabbath day. That's how Christ is putting that variance with somebody that's close to you. You can't go on that fishing trip no more. Read. But I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Read. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter against her mother. Guess what the daughter is going to be against her mother? Because she's been wearing short shorts and everything for years, now the mom tells her, you can't wear that freakum dress and go to the club no more. Now the daughter's against the mother. Read. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Read. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So are you afraid that your parents and everybody else is not gonna accept you if you start keeping God's laws? So what's stopping you then? But yourself. So is what you think is right or is it what God think is right? Well, if you believe in God, you gotta do with whatever you think is right. What? believe in God, you gotta think, you gotta do whatever you think God is right. Whatever God thinks is right, that's what you gotta do. Right, so, you, so, so where do you find what God wants you to do? Follow his rules. Joshua 1 and 8. At that 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, Read. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. Therein. Some that's written. All that is written therein. This is the book of the law. This is God's word. You're going to find what's right according to him in this book. Right. But because we're going to put our like, white Jesus in front of this book, because we're going to put our opinion in front of this book, because we're going to put Christianity in front of this book, because we're going to put our own opinion in front of this book, or Egyptology in front of this book, or weed in front of this book, Bring it out. Or, or sex in front of this book. Bring it out. I got where you're going. You build little walls between you and Christ. That's, yep. why they, that's why they used to burn churches. 
back then because they believe that that picture that you put right there, they was believing in that picture. That's why they used to burn churches and that's why they changed that black man to a white man. Right. So let's see. So which one you gonna follow? The white man or the black man? I believe that black. Which one that's not what I asked. Which one you gonna follow? Black man. Okay, first Corinthians chapter eleven. Let's see. Let's see. Remember, the philosophy of this Jesus is come as you are, do what you want to do. Right. All you gotta do is believe on me. This one say, this one say, I require something of you. Yes, right. Let's see. Read. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. What's your head? Who's your head? Who's your head? What does it say? Read it again. You got to listen, bro. You got this is very, very pertinent. Huh? But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who is your head? You a man, right? Okay. Who is your head? Listen again. Listen again. Listen, listen, listen. Who is my head? Let's listen. Listen to what the Bible says. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who is your head? Christ. All right, read. And the head of the woman is the man. Who, if you had a, if you had a wife, you would be what to her? <laughs> the woman. If you had a wife, I would be her man. You would be her what? Let's see what it says. It would be just a man or what? And the head of the woman is the man. If you had a wife, you're what to her? I'm supposed Up to be a man. Oh, that's what the Bible says. Read it again. <laughs> and the head of the woman is the man. Hey, brother, in the toboggan, did you know Did you know what the Bible said that the man is over the woman? Huh? Read it. Uh, right. It's the husband. It ain't no but. That's what it said. What she said? What she said? What it say? When I'm the breadwinner, we eat. Oh. Whoa. That's it. Oh. Woo. Come on now. Come on. What, what, sis, what you said? Woo. So, so, so you mean tell me if 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 my woman make more money than me, I gotta I gotta I gotta shut up and sit on the couch. Love your wife. Your wife loves the church. Right. That's awesome. So, so my question is, did Christ ever submit to the church? It says why submit to your husbands. Hey, it called Christ the bridegroom, and we the and we the bride. Name a time that Christ submitted to us. Name a time Christ submitted to the church. Yep. That is America. That's right. Read it again. Where we at? But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. You know so crazy? 50-50? If we so 50-50, then you need to, if you got child support, then you need to pay 50% of that child support then. Right. If we, if, if we so 50-50, when a burglar is on the door, you should be side by side, baby. But don't tell me, baby. Go downstairs. We 50-50. Black women want to be 50-50 to have your balls in their pockets. Right. That's right. But guess what? Guess what? You're there to provide for them. You're there to help them. You're there to protect them. You're there to take care of them. But guess what? God divinely put you over them. Right. You know, but, and guess what? It takes some men... Sometimes we talk about bum Negroes that don't want to do nothing for themselves. Yes, right. He's still a guy. He got to get his mind right. But sis, at the end of the day, I know we broke down. We don't look good and everything else, right? But guess what? God said he's going to make us more precious than fine gold. Bring it out. God said even though that man that loses a job sometime and he's trying to take care of you, no matter if you make six figures and he work at Burger King, just because he's a man and, and he's trying to make something better himself and he's keeping the commandments, God say over to you. Yeah, right. Right. Let's go. I like that. Now watch this. Let's see if you like this. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Every man. Every what? Every man. Let's see if you like this. Praying or prophesying. If you're hearing this Bible coming out, read. Having his head covered. Is your head covered right now? With them hands that rig. Yeah, with that. Dishonoreth his head. Who is your head? God. Christ. His head was his head is Christ. Right? You're dishonoring Christ by having your head covered when the word of God coming out. Bring it out. So you said you like that that you're over the woman. What you gonna do? There you go. Hey. Oh, right. That's called Rick. Now watch this, sis. You keeping a commandment and you didn't even know. Right. Watch this. Read. Get to the woman. Verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied 
with her head uncovered. So let's say that the Bible's coming out and your head's not covered. Read. Dishonoreth her head. Your head is what? It's covered right now. So guess what? You can keep the law. Right. That's right. You, know. you can keep the law. Have you ever heard that? In, come, come here right quick, sis. Right, right, right before you go. Have you ever heard in church that we can't keep the law? Okay. Have you ever heard, have you ever said you don't have to? Is the law in the Old Testament? Yeah. Okay. That's in Moses. We under Christ now. We say through grace, through faith. Why am I able to literally mimic everything that the pastor said? I ain't never been to your church. <laughs> Bring it out. Bring it out. How, how is that now? How is that now? I don't know your pastor from Adam. I said everything he said to you. That means it's a recycled message of bullcrap. Read. Read. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? This is what you give your pastor. Do we then make void the law, the commandments, through faith? I'm saved through grace, through faith. Read. God forbid. It says, sis. It says, God forbid. It says, no. Read. Yay, we establish the law. We what the law? We establish the law. Hey, brother, sister, it's crossing the street. Y'all believe in Jesus Christ, right? Believe in God, right? Did you know that according to the Bible, brother, you're the head over the one? I'm just saying something new, ain't it? I'm telling you, bro. It's a reason why you don't talk to us a couple times. It's a reason why you standing right here. It's a reason why the reason I stood here that you took your hat off when Christ told you to do it. It's because Christ is trying to make you into a carbon copy of himself. Yes, yes. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.